Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting teaser session. Uh, following up my new routine and describing the upcoming tutorials for the next week since a week ago. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, the tutorials that I have in mind for the next week. I hope this gets you all excited. So next week I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of effect so you probably have seen a lot of websites where they have like maybe a picture gallery or you know some products where you know they either when you hover or you click on one of those thumbnails you see more information and here we go uh, so sort of like a sliding information panel that reveals itself quite nice so I'm gonna be talking about how you can create this shadow over here and also how I made this sliding panel. The next tutorial which is pretty exciting uh, and very cool is that I am using a library that we developed uh, some time ago. It basically generates SVG animations and or specifically SVG path animations. So as you can see here we have this burger menu and when I click on it, just check out the awesome animation. Boom. So this is something that you cannot generally do with normal CSS. And if you want to, it's pretty difficult. It needs a lot of coding in the CSS, if possible, even. So it's been a long time ago, as I said, we developed this library that animates. So when it comes to you know doing this tutorial I'll dive deep into that and how you can use it to generate this cool kind of animation and alike. The third tutorial that I'm going to talk about next week is this kind of you know image gallery. So it seems to be pretty simple so you have previous and next and what it does is actually showing the next or previous image but look at the effect here so when I scroll, it not only scrolls, you know, the container within this, which means that the next image will reveal, but also take a look at how the image itself changes position within its container. So, look at this. Do you see, do you feel this kind of effect over here? So that is basically what we're, what we're going to talk about in this tutorial. So I'm very excited actually specifically for this one because you can create really really awesome effects and I'm going to be talking about uh, you know what uh, browsers are compatible with this and all sort of thing about this and this is actually an open source library called Movit for those of you who are interested uh, it's like you know you can check out uh, SVG stroke dash array and so as you can see here just take a look at this what it does and also stroke dash offset but anyways I will get back to it at the time so I hope you enjoyed this teaser session so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so that you get notified of all these cool tutorials and I wish you a very nice day or night goodbye